Leslie Wagner, second year veterinary student here at Texas A&M University. And today I'm going to show you one of the skills you need to know for your FFA Veterinary Science CDE. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a fecal flotation. So to begin with, you'll have a fecal sample. Here I have a pre-collected one from a dog, but if you have a ruminant species or just a sample in front of you, you'll have a tongue depressor to select about a quarter of a teaspoon of sample and place into your vial. I'm just going to go ahead and wash this one out of the loop. Poke it out of the loop. Okay. And you're going to fill this first vial with your sample about halfway with water, or with uh, flotation material. Some clinics prefer to use different flotations. You'll see sodium chloride very commonly, which is just salt water. Sometimes you see zinc sulfate, and sometimes you even see sugar water, which is really thick and kind of fun to work with. But I'm just gonna stir my sample up and make sure to break up any of the clods so that it's very evenly distributed. And then this is a dog sample, so there's not a lot of debris in it, but if it had come from a ruminant, like a cow or a goat, or even from a horse, an animal that eats a lot of hay, you'll see lots of big chunks of debris in your sample. And so you're going to want to get rid of that. So we just take a plain uh, piece of gauze, and we'll put it over a second vial, and drain our sample into the second vial. This will get rid of any of the big clumps that you've got. Make sure that, that gets in there. And then with the second vial, you're going to fill it up with more flotation solution all the way to the top until you form an inverted meniscus. And so an inverted meniscus is when you fill it up where you think you're about to overfill it, like it's about to spill over, but just before that point. So you have this inverted kind of top of water. With that, you'll take your cover slip, grabbing it by the corners, and place it over the top of your vial. So now you want to wait for 10 minutes because it takes 10 minutes for any potential eggs in the fecal sample to float up to the top and attach itself to the slide, or the slide cover. So while we're waiting on that, we'll take a fresh glass slide, and we're gonna label it with our patient's name. Today it was Z. So once it's been 10 minutes, we can take our cover slip off of the top, holding it by the corners, and place it onto our glass slide. Once you have it on the slide, you wanna make sure to keep it very level and not to tip it or you'll lose your sample. And there it's ready to be presented to the judge. And all you have left to do is clean your hands. So a little hand sanitizer will take care of any organic material that may have transferred to your hands in the process. Good luck on your competition. Have fun studying. <laughs>